All right, welcome everyone. My name is Jesse Hawthorne Fix. This is Midnight's for Maniacs. Happy New Year. Hey, we're on Paul Verhoeven weekend, so I need to hear that you're fucking excited about that. Um, I planned this. I planned this last year. Uh, I knew that the Paul Verhoeven's uh, L had done quite well at the Cannes Film Festival. Has anyone seen L? Right. You can expand the Seven Film Festival this weekend if you want to head on over to uh, watch it at the Opera Theater. Uh, make it eight films. The director Paul Verhoeven is 78 years old. Uh, he just won two Golden Globes. The, probably the greatest moment of his career, of, of at least winning awards, and this happens to be the week that we're showing seven films. Tonight we're watching Total Recall and Basic Instinct. Now Total Recall came out in 1990. Um, this is a vintage Total Recall shirt. Uh, I, did, I didn't have it for this past 27 years, it's a gift. <laughs> But many of us in this room, we've grown up with this movie, and I'm betting that some of you have watched this film a lot. <laughs> and you've probably dragged someone with you here tonight. And I want to remind you that they need to be able to watch the film on their own. They don't have to like it. Let them watch the film. Don't just stare at them, <laughs> expecting them to love it and get it and laugh at all the parts that you have rewound over and over. Um, and in fact, for those of you that have watched it a lot, this is exciting because looking back on Paul Verhoeven's career is um, something that Midnight's for Maniacs, the series we like to do, uh, to try and make them perhaps more complicated than when we were stoned, when we were uh, drunk, when we um, just watched it because we had no friends. Um, cheap entertainment for cheap people is how Paul Verhoeven has always been treated. Uh, he is a master at disguising his intelligence. Those of you who are fans of him, maybe you read some of his interviews or listen to his commentaries. Um, a film that we are playing on Sunday, Starship Troopers. Uh, he is if you listen to the commentary, they'll ask him, what did, you, what did you want in this scene? And he will, he consistently just would say, I wanted the bugs to be bigger. <laughs> now, those of you who've come out to this film series, uh, that is 15 year anniversary this month. Wow. Um, started at the Four Star Theater. You know that, um, thank you. I'm very proud of uh, getting to show movies that people typically make fun of and uh, call the worst movies ever made, that they're so bad, that they're good. Arnold Schwarzenegger is the worst actor. You should see him in this film that's just fucked up and weird. Um, I mean, for Maniacs has been trying to celebrate them in a, in, a, in a way that isn't just making fun of them. And uh, Total Recall sort of falls perfectly in line with this whole concept that uh, this is a science fiction film. And those of you that love sci-fi, uh, I put a couple of trailers to get you into the mood of the early 90s yes. uh, and when this movie came out. And whenever a science fiction film comes out, we kind of make fun of what the film is predicting. And the technology, if we can't achieve that yet, we'll say, oh, that movie's so fake. And then 20 years later, we're like, wow, that movie was actually so smart. And Total Recall is one of them. So while you're having fun, one, I want to remind you that Arnold Schwarzenegger makes everything better. <laughs> and when you watch him in a film, he is actually a very skilled artist at what he does. It may not be as complicated as an actor like Daniel Day-Lewis, but um, neither was Charlie Chaplin. He did one thing really well, and I'm betting most of us in this room, we're still trying to find that one thing to do really well. And Arnold Schwarzenegger knows how to deliver a one-liner. And I wish that some of the actors today knew how to do that. Now at the time, it was a joke. Uh, these muscle-bound films 
with actors like Stallone. Sylvester Stallone, Jean Claude Van Damme, Dolph Lundgren. Dolph. Come on, Dolph Lundgren. People didn't take these actors so seriously. I want you to. I want you to because, in fact, Paul Verhoeven did. And he saw that Arnold Schwarzenegger, he represented the perfect, everyday, working class guy. Now, he's the extreme version, but those of you that watch pro wrestling, you also know that this connects to a different type of audience. And it is an art. And Schwarzenegger is perfect in this movie. Now, there's also another actress in the film that I want to emphasize, or another actor, Sharon Stone. What? Some of you, you can't clap. I need you to clap for Sharon Stone. That's right. I'm hoping that some of you um, who came out to see Total Recall, you'll stick around and watch Basic Instinct. Not because it's a sex film. Not just because there's nudity in it, which most fans of Basic Instinct, that's why they loved it. Um, it was a coming of age film for many of us. But it's actually a masterful Hitchcock thriller that uh, is brilliantly made. And it's stuck in a genre that many Americans we can't really deal with is the erotic. We get extremely giggly and uncomfortable when we watch movies about sex. And Paul Verhoeven knew that. So this double bill here is celebrating an actress, Sharon Stone, which still, she has not been celebrated in a way that uh, I think she deserves, and hopefully we can do that tonight. Um, and we are co-presenting this event with Spoke Art. Spoke Art Gallery, can we give it up for them? Yeah. This whole weekend, in fact, uh, Spoke Art will be here. Tonight we have this beautiful Total Recall print. Um, that is in fact sort of a, a brother or a sister print to a Robocop print that was made a few years ago. We have both of those up here for sale. Uh, and tomorrow is a Robocop print that is truly to die for. Um, but you got a real ticket today, and I'd like for you to pull out your red ticket that I gave you. Not this one, but an actual ticket. Um, Total Recall special effects are something that are quite memorable, and I try to teach this in my film classes, that when a movie has dated special effects, often that means they're really good. And because they don't look like the contemporary special effects, which by the way are dated as well, uh, we forget that this was not only mind-blowing in 1990, but it was physical, and the special effects in Total Recall, uh, I think still should just baffle you at how they were created. So this printed ticket is also part of that aesthetic. I'm wanting some of you to hopefully save it. Not just throw it away, you could put it in a ticket book. And remember that you came out to the oldest movie theater in San Francisco tonight, the Roxy Theater. Can we give it up for this nonprofit? Loves every time that you come here. And on this ticket stub, there's a number that's written in the top right-hand corner. And whoever has uh, number nine. Number, <laughs> number nine. All right, come on up. Let's give it up for... Number nine. We'll be giving away the RoboCop print. Uh, as well as, I want some of you, those of you who are really going to leave, right, stick around. Because I've got this book that Sharon Stone wrote. <laughs> we'll talk more about this. Um, and tomorrow we are playing a triple feature of Robocop, Showgirls, and a secret surprise at midnight. And this was something that Midnight's for Maniacs we used to do all the time. Remember when you used to want to sit in a theater for three movies? Yeah. Some of you have never done that in your life. And uh, it's a really rare occasion for a theater to let me do this. So I hope that some of you come out for that. Tomorrow on Sunday is uh, Starship Troopers, as I said, but before that is a Dutch film called Spetters. And um, that's the movie that Paul Verhoeven got kicked out of his Netherlands country for. 
Uh, and I, I highly recommend you coming out for that. Now, both of these movies are in 35 millimeter tonight. Can we give it up for our projectionist who will be projecting them? Carl. And I want to throw out a word while we're having fun with Total Recall, and I don't want to spoil anything because please raise your hand if you've never seen this movie before. Be proud. Exciting. I want to throw out this word that Paul Verhoeven has consistently uh, explored throughout his career is uh, a misanthrope. Misanthropy? A misanthrope. And uh, see what we can do with that. You guys, thank you so much for coming out, turning your cell phones off. My name is Jesse Hawthorne Fix. This is Midnight's for Maniacs. Woo!